on the uh, on the ratios and proportions. Okay, I'm gonna just do some of the odd numbers. I'm gonna do one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Oh wait, better make this smaller to begin with. We're gonna need some space to do these questions. There we go. Okay, divide the quantity into the given ratio. Okay, so we're gonna be going for the uh, uh, the the odd numbers. Okay, and then should keep us plenty busy. We're hoping. Okay, first one. 18 euro. Key thing is to add the ratios together. You have one part and two parts. That's three parts total. So what you say is three parts equals 18. This implies that one part must be six six euro because you divide 18 by three to find out one part. And then two parts would be uh, multiply six by two to get 12. There you go there. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do question three. You add the one and three together, and this time there's four parts. Okay, so this is for question three. So four parts equals uh, 24. This implies that one part, when you divide it both sides by four, one part will be six. And this also implies that three parts will be six multiplied by three, which is 18. Okay, now we're on to question five. Three plus four, seven parts. So seven parts equals 28. This implies that one part, divide both sides by seven equals four minutes. Then you need to find out what three parts are. So three parts means multiply four by three to get 12 minutes. And then you're looking for four parts. Four parts is four times bigger than one part, so it means four times four, which will get you 16 minutes. Okay, now we're on to question seven, nine, and 11. We'll see how we go next. You should probably start to try them on your own now, guys, so you should probably be pausing me any second now, okay? So, <clears throat> two plus one is three parts. So question seven is, two plus one, three parts. So three parts equals nine months. This implies that one part is, uh, so one part will be three months and two parts will be six months. So it's a ratio of two to three. So that'd be so that'd be six months here and three months there. Okay, let's look at question nine. Eighty-eight. So add the seven and the four together, and we should get eleven parts. So eleven parts equals eighty-eight. Divide both sides by eleven. This implies one part is eight. We want to know what seven parts are and four parts. So seven parts, because it says the seven there, is seven multiplied by eight, which is 56. Four parts, which is going to be four times eight, is going to be 32. So that'll be broken up into 56 and 32. Okay, next we're on to question 11. The 450 pupils here are broken up into the ratio of four to five. Four to five is nine parts. Nine parts equals 450 people. Divide both sides by nine. This will apply one part is 50. Implies that four parts. Multiply four by 50 to get 200. And then five parts, which would be five times 50, which would be 250. Now we're on to 13. Okay, so question 13 is 3 is to 2, so 3 plus 2 is 5 parts total, so your full 5 parts has to equal 150. You want to find out what 1 part is, well 1 part is 150 divided by 5, which is 30. The goal of the question is to find out what 3 and 2 parts are, so 3 parts would be uh, 3 times 30, which is 90, and then 2 parts would be 2 times 30, which is 
60. Okay, so there's 13 gone as well. Now what are we on? 15, 17, and 19. 15, 17, and 19. Okay, so 15. Once again, add the two and three together to get five parts. So five parts is 15 euro 30 cents. You're going to get your 15 euro 30 cents and you're going to divide it by five. Five into 15 goes uh, three times. Five into three goes zero times. Five into 30 goes six times. So one part is 3.06, but you want to find out what two parts are. So 3.06 multiplied by two is going to be two times six is 12, two times three is six. So you can say two parts is uh, six euro 12 cent. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is find out what uh, three parts are. So this time we're going to have to multiply it by three to find out what three parts are. Three times six is 18. Three times three is nine. So three parts is nine euro 18 cents. So next we're on to 17, which is a triple question, which can provide some uh, problems for certain students. Okay, so what you can say here is that It's a ratio of five is to four is to three. So five plus four is nine. Nine plus three is 12 parts. Okay, so 12 parts. 12 parts is 480. Divide both sides by 12. 12 into 48 goes four times. So it would be 40, one part is 40. You want to find out what five parts, four parts and three parts are. So 5 parts is 5 multiplied by 40, which is 200. 4 parts is 4 multiplied by 40, which is 160. And then finally, 3 parts, or 3 shares, 3 multiplied by 40 is 120. So this answer here would be 200, 160, and 120. So you see the way you can divide it up like that, divide it up. Now, question 19. Same deal again. You add the 3, the 6, and the 8 together, and you get 17 parts. That's what happens when you add them together. So you get 17 parts equals 170 kilograms. You get 1 part equals 10 kilograms. Next, I have to find out what 3 parts is. Well, 3 parts, 3 times 10 is 30 kilograms. 6 parts. 6 times 10 is 60 kilos. And finally, 8 times uh, 10 is 80 kilograms. Okay. We're all good. 21. Divide 24 into 3 equal parts. Well, 24 divided by 3 is 8 euro. Fair enough. Hence, divide 24 into ratio is 1 is to 2. Well, if one part is, see, so add 1 and 2 together and you get 3 parts. Okay? And three, if one part is 8 euro, 2 parts will be. 16 euro so this is the same thing as doing 8 euro and 16 euro okay 23 a prize of uh, 30 euro is shared between two people in the ratio of one to two how much does each person receive once again it's one plus two which is three parts in total so divide 30 by three to find out what one part is one part will be 10 euro and then two parts will be uh, 20 euro. So it divides up as 10 is to 20 euro. Okay, guys, that's me over and out.